Hey everybody, Jeff Davis. Your mind can overcome anything that life hands you. Let me say that one more time. Your mind can overcome anything that life may hand you. What am I talking about here? It's so easy, and I've witnessed this happen dozens of times where people will pop pharmaceutical pills, that purple pill to make things better, and it's a fake feeling, it's a temporary cover-up only to make their problem worse because they're not facing it directly. The key message and core theme of our discussion here today is to face your problems directly because your mind can overcome anything as long as you feel the feeling you face it. But I am 100% aware that there are extreme and severe cases where pharmaceutical pills may be the best option. For example, there are people who have very severe bipolar disorder and sometimes pills can, can level them out and there are other um, serious kinds of cases like that where someone may actually need a pharmaceutical pill. But here's the thing, that's the extreme case. That is the rare example of someone actually needing it, but I, I promise you that there are thousands of cases of people taking these pills where they don't need them, where they're masking up a problem with a temporary short-term solution that is hurting them in the long run. What if you just face your problem directly? Feel the feeling of what you're going through and then you don't need to cover it up with a pill. If you feel the feeling, if you feel your lows, then you'll be able to feel your highs. I've been down there, I've been knocked down, I had some really unexpected setbacks. When I was in high school, I was a star athlete. I got recruited by colleges to play baseball at a higher level. I did awesome at showcases. I was traveling around the country playing with the top summer teams and literally out of the clear blue sky, I got cut from my high school baseball team. I mean, I got so depressed. You know, at one point, I didn't even know if I wanted to go on, if I wanted to even continue living. I realized in the grand scheme of things how silly that is, and I can smile and laugh at it now because compared to the, the genocides and the rapes and the horrible crimes and terrible atrocities that go on around the world on a daily basis, that means nothing. But have you ever been so zoomed in on something that you felt depressed? I mean, that's what happened. I was so zoomed in on this baseball thing that all my self-work was caught up. And the way I got past that is by just feeling the feeling and, and then rebuilding from there. It's, it's like, um, think of sort of like an onion, except rather than peeling the onion, let, let's build it. You have your, your little base, your foundation, and as you feel the feeling, you get a little bit stronger. You can keep on peeling layers of a strong foundation of your life, of your purpose, of the way you're going to move forward, as long as you feel the feeling. But I want to make the point here that you don't need pharmaceutical pills to help you get over that. You really don't. And now people describing, this isn't me talking about Jeff, there's other people saying to me that I'm one of the happiest and most energetic people they've met. And that's because, because I felt the lows and because I faced the problem directly and because I fixed what I was going through in a way of developing myself and improving myself. Now I can experience other aspects of life in a, in a more beneficial way because I faced it directly. You can too. You can face your problem directly without having to rely on the crutch of pharmaceutical pills. The pharmaceutical companies do not care about you. I'm sorry to say that, but on the whole, in the majority of cases, all they care about is making money. They do not care about you. They don't care about your well-being. They don't care about if you're getting better. They just want to make money. And they'll put the most lovely and seductive marketing you can ever imagine. They'll have really enticing ads and they'll have all these lists of so-called benefits from taking their pills but trust me they don't work I knew someone who took those pills and they literally her condition got worse where she attempted suicide the, the these pills make your problem worse Th this is not a joke they it's like say you hurt your hand this is going to sound extreme but I, I swear to you from the bottom of my heart this is not even an exaggeration in this analogy. Say you hurt your hand and you cut it. Would you put your hand on a burner to heal it? Of course not. Well, let's be even more extreme. After putting on the burner, would you put it into a pot of boiling water and leave it there for two minutes to fix your cut? Of course not. But that's exactly what other people are doing when they take pills to mask their problem. I knew of one friend in um, North Carolina, it wasn't him, but it was two of his friends who thought it was normal to take pharmaceutical pills. And they ended up getting even more depressed. 
I heard of a story, not of someone I knew, but someone I read, who took pharmaceutical pills for a whole year, and at the end of that year, their brain chemistry was messed up. People said that her personality changed, she was off, she was different. I mean, I'm not gonna share the 27 different examples I've heard of, but I, I, I swear from the bottom of my soul, I have never heard of one case of a pharmaceutical pill helping someone. I know that sounds extreme, but I am not kidding with you. When I say helping someone, I'm talking about with the, the, the whole depression thing. I'm not talking about you know, someone getting over cholesterol or something. That's a different story. I'm talking about helping someone who's feeling down. It, it causes the very thing they say it will help. This is not some kind of you know, exaggeration of me trying to twist cases. I'm just sharing with you the truth. I was hesitant to share with it at first because you know, I know these billion dollar pharmaceutical companies are, are way more powerful than I am, but it finally got to the point where I heard so many cases of this happening, I couldn't not share it. It does horrible things to people. I don't know why people take them. I don't know why pharmaceutical companies sell them. It masks the problem. It doesn't allow you to face it. But if you forget about the pills and you just sit down and you face the feeling, face the very thing you're afraid to face, you will naturally get over it and then you'll pick yourself up to an even higher level because you naturally face it as opposed to taking some silly and stupid pharmaceutical pill. For me, other people's well-being is more important than making money, but not everyone in the world is like that. Not everyone in the world cares about other people. And these monstrous and disgraceful and absolutely despicable pharmaceutical companies just want to make money. Please share your comments. I'd love to know what you thought. In the 27 examples I've um, you know, come across, and I only shared a couple with you here today, I've only heard of them hurting people. This is not an exaggeration. I'm telling you what I've heard, experienced, and seen firsthand. They make the condition worse. They make your depression worse. They make people commit suicide. They make people not face their problems. Have you heard anything differently? If you like what I had to say, Please hit like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and more contrarian views coming your way. I love researching topics that are prevalent in our society so that we can move forward and know the truth about what's going on in our world today. Thank you.